Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, The Aurora. So, as we all know, there are many people around the world who use iTunes, and also they are. Uh, and it happens that many people, many such people, uh, own Windows PCs. So, I am uh, running a Windows 10 on my PC, and I have the latest version of iTunes downloaded from the Apple website. So installing it is not a big deal. You can just download the setup from the website and just install it. Sorry for this. And uh, so as you can see, the setup is here. I have just installed it. And once you open iTunes, uh, you can see uh, it happens that when you try to sign in on iTunes, uh, I'll just show you. Type in my Apple ID and then password and you get an error saying verification failed there was an error connecting to the Apple ID server so you just click OK select cancel and I will show you some ways in which the problem can be solved so go to the search bar and type command prompt command prompt yeah you can see it there now uh, on the icon just right click on the icon and say run as administrator so once you do that it asks for the access of the file say yes and then uh, type exactly as I do here uh, so type net sh net sh without space then give a spacebar winsock w i n s o c k and then give a space and then uh, reset R E S E T. Once you press enter, you should get a command saying successfully reset the Windsor catalog. You must restart restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So just follow the instructions and try re restarting your computer. And I hope it works. It's different in different PCs, so just try and follow the instructions that I give. Now, if in case the first instruction doesn't work. Then you can go in the firewall settings of the PC. Just type firewall settings in your, in your search bar, and you get you go to the firewall settings. Now select allow an app or feature through Windows firewall. Now you get an you get a list of files here. See to that you uh, first click on the change setting, and then you select the uh, Bonjour services. Two bonjours. The uh, ignore the rest because I have installed the iTunes software many times. So you must get two and uh, uh, see to that they are correct um, or selected in the boxes and deselect the public boxes. And as you move down, you will see iTunes here. So see to that the iTunes uh, app is selected and then you also need to make sure that the private and public boxes are selected so this is your firewall setting to run itunes on your pc so this was the uh, firewall settings on your pc now in case even if the second instruction doesn't work then you can go for the third one which is uh, turn off your antivirus shield till you sign in. So what happens is uh, some antivirus programs consider uh, iTunes as a spam or they don't let you open it. So just uh, you need to disable the antivirus uh, program for a while until you sign in. So you have to go to the taskbar, click on the arrow, you get other icons where you have one icon for your antivirus. So you click on the right click on the antivirus icon and say stop NTAV shield. NTAV is the name of my antivirus. So I click on this. So it pops up as disable NTAV protection to which you say yes. So now that it is disabled, you can open iTunes and try signing in again. I type my Apple ID ID and then my password so sign in
yep so there you go you have signed into itunes and this is your apple music for you yeah so it says there's an activity icloud music library access accessing icloud cloud music library and yeah there you go So, you click on browse, yes, everything is working. Source, click on it. Yes, it's basically logged in so or signed in, so you can just go through if you want to check. Whether you have signed in or not, you can just click on account and you can see your name in the upper two rows. So there you go. Now, in case if you do want to always disable your antivirus in order to sign in all the time, if you are or signed out or logged out, you need to follow another step. Open your antivirus program. First, you enable the antivirus protection after you sign in then you go to the antivirus program and you uh, enter uh, I have a software called net protector antivirus so I enter the settings icon here and then enter into protection so you can see there's a view or edit block list so you need to check that in your antivirus program which is different for different antivirus programs so you just need to find this option we have already edit block list once you click on that you need to select exclude list and then you need to add the itunes app here so it says add and then path you need to select the options browse then select local disk c then select program file and then select itunes and then say open you will find the itunes itunes app icon here okay. so once you open that you should say add so it is added as an exception and it won't be blocked from next time so you don't need to disable your antivirus from next time so yeah then you click ok then apply your settings and it says that the settings will be applied on restart of computer yes okay and yes so you close the antivirus program i will just try signing out again and now that i have added it as an exception i think it should work and let me sign in again so let's try it again i type my apple id once again password and this is accessing itunes it's again yep there you go boom so if you like the video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and if you really want to help people with who are facing such problems just share the video and thank you so much.